компанията Панова. Дали буде пряма трансляция Володимир Зеленско з Україна. Thank you very much for, for the introduction. It's a great honor for me and for Ukraine to address you. Dear President Biden, Vice President Harris, dear members of Congress, Your Majesty King Abdullah, each and everyone who has faith. And I'm glad that for 70 years, this tradition of prayer breakfast, which was started during the time of President Eisenhower, has been preserved to this time. This is a symbol that despite any, even the worst circumstances, the best in people still prevails and prayer continues. If you recall the Psalms of David, you will pay attention to how often they ask the Lord to hear the prayer. We never know whether our prayer has come close to perfection and whether the Lord heard it. And that's why in harsh times, when we lose loved ones, when people lose their children, which is the worst thing, when life is at risk, when a criminal war is conducted against your people, faith may stagger. It happens that people think that God doesn't hear and will not hear prayer. And it is important for us as leaders of nations to resist despair. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory the one who lifts my head high. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall, shall not fear. These words at the beginning of the book of Psalms and their determination balances the doubts that are found later in the book. Because this is confidence in the Lord who hears and who sees what is in the person's heart. Millions of Ukrainians are asking for the expulsion of the invaders from our homeland and so for the restoration of peace. We believe in God. We do not allow despair. Thanks to the bravery of our soldiers, thanks to the help of friends of freedom in the world, thanks to President Biden and all of you, the leaders and people who help. And we have that chance, a chance to drive out the evil that came to our land under the Russian flag. We have a chance, a chance to make hope and history rhyme. These words were said at the prayer breakfast last year. This year we see in concrete actions, in our joint actions with you, how this chance is realized. We have been standing against evil for almost a year. We are united as we have not been for a long time. And we are brave. Our heroic soldiers have already hit evil on the battlefield. Did it happen? only due to the efforts of just people or where our prayers heard by God, none of us is allowed to know. And this is one of God's best incentives for people. One of the best stimuli is that majestic silence in which the human heart turns to God in prayer when he gives a person the opportunity to become better, when he enables the actions of people to rhyme their own hopes with their own history. Does he help us with this? I'm sure he does. But people's actions are needed. You have to wake up 
to say that the Lord is sustaining you. And I thank you all, America. Thank you all our friends in the world for waking up together last year. We stand together and we must do everything we can together so that next year on the first Thursday of February we will be able to pray simply with thanks for the obtained salvation from evil. May the Lord protect you all. Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! Grand Slava!